Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So, you probably know, right, what is price action trading, right? You know, it's been taught that, you know, you should draw your support resistance level on your, on your chart, right? Let the market come into support, right? Let it form a bullish reversal pattern like a hammer, right? And if it does, right, you go long and set your stop loss below the low of support. And then you get stopped out, right? And that's the reason, right? One of the reasons why traders fail with price action trading. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you three of the biggest reasons why traders, they fail with price action trading and how you can avoid it. So I'm going to share with you three reasons why traders fail at price action trading and how you can avoid it. Number one, your stop loss gets eaten easily. Right, what do I mean by that is that you set your stop loss right at a very obvious level where the market right can easily hit that level, hunt your stop loss, and then reverse back in the opposite direction. Let me share with you an example. So you can see over here, this is the chart of a dollar against the Chinese yuan, right? Uh, this is an area of support. Okay, market come into this area of support, right? Then traders will look at these two, you know, these two candles like a doji and they say, hey, there is indecision in the market, right? The sellers are getting exhausted, right? The buyers could possibly come in. Let's go long, right? Where do they put their stop loss? They put their stop loss just below this low over here, right? After all, the textbook says, you know, you should set your stop loss below support, right? Because if uh, the price breaks apart, your, your level is invalidated and you should get out of the trade. And then what happens? You look at this, the market, well, in this case, it trigger those cluster of stop loss over here and then it rally higher okay so let's see if you can get another example uh let's see okay i think this is another one you can see again this market come into this area of support right and then hey you this time around you have a bullish reversal candle right traders will say hey buyers are in control right let's you know go long and put our stop loss below this area of support. And that's what they do. And then the market, boom. It triggers their stop loss again and then rally higher. So you can see that, you know, the reason why a lot of traders fail with price action trading is because they set their stop loss at the worst possible level. Right, so what's the solution, right? I have uh, two things to share with you. Number one, you can wait for the market to take out this lows of support before you go long so in this case right you can see that this this candle over here right this one has clearly taken out this prior lows before it reverse so you wait for such reversal to take out the take out the lows before you go long that's uh, the first solution the second solution right is uh set your stop loss right away from obvious market structure so for example back here again if you want to go long right don't put your stop loss just below support because it's really asking the market right to come Hey, take my stop loss, man. It's free, right? Here's some free money, right? Have it. Keep the change. Right? That's what you're saying to the market. So if you want to, you know, set your stop loss, give it some buffer, give it more room to breathe so you can set it, you know, somewhere over here, right? Away from the, you know, so-called uh, uh, noise in the market. Okay, so give it some buffer or wait for the market to handle stop loss before you enter your trade. So these are two things that you can do. So moving on, the second reason why traders fail at price action trading is because you're a one-trick pony so what do i mean by a one trick pony again i'll explain so if you look at this chart right this is a chart of gold the daily time frame and you know you know what would price action traders you know think to themselves they would draw their support resistance level you know let me just you know do what they will probably do they draw their levels right they draw their levels here right and perhaps you know draw their their uh maybe a level here okay and their top process would be something like this right so the market right at this point in time it broke below this uh this area of support okay so what's their top process their top process would be something like this right they will say to themselves right okay at this point right what i'll do is i'll wait for the market to retest previous support turn resistance right i'll wait for a bearish engulfing pattern to form before i go short so the, they wait for the market to come to this level right give them a reversal candlestick pattern to go short well in this case right it didn't happen right and it break down lower so at this point they tell themselves again okay you know maybe you know what i will you know Wait for the market to, at this point, I'll wait for the market to retest back this, uh, retest back this level right now. Now they can see that the new resistance level is formed. I'll wait for the market to retest back this level, right? And before I go short, again, didn't happen, market collapsed lower. 
okay? And the market is still collapsed lower. And then now they'll tell, tell themselves, okay, you know what? I have a new level over here, right? I'll wait for the market to retest back this level, right? Before I go short. And again, right? what's the chance of it happening? Unlikely. So you can see that from this level over here, from the 1280 uh, level around here, we've been waiting, waiting, waiting while the market continues lower. So what's the the point I'm trying to bring across is that if you're a one-trick pony, market conditions like this right, will keep you on the sidelines. It will just make you uh, salivate, right? That, wow, the market is trending, but I'm on the sidelines, right? You know, how can I catch a piece of the move, right? So I'm going to share with you a very simple technique, right? To catch a piece of the move when the market is uh, in such a strong trending market. So I right, just pull out your 20-period moving average, right? Because if the market is below the 20-period moving average, it usually means that it's in a strong trend. And if the market is in a strong trend, right, you can feel comfortable trading breakouts or in this case it's a breakdown since it's a downtrend so for example this one over here right uh market right retest back the 20 period moving average you can feel comfortable shorting this breakdown over here because you know it's in a strong trend and you can just you know set your stop loss right referencing it from this highs over here okay so similarly right what happened recently is that again the market didn't retest but again it had a breakdown of this lows again you can go short and just reference your stop loss from this highs Right, so you can see that, you know, uh, instead of, you know, waiting for the market to come to a level, right, the level that, you know, hardly gets retested in a strong trending market, you can adopt a different perspective and look to trade breakout. So don't be a one-trick pony, right? There are different ways to skin the cat in the market and you really want to open your eyes out to the possibilities, right? The different trading setups, right, that you can get on board a trade, all right? So moving on, the last reason, right, why traders fail at price action trading is because you only focus on A plus trading setup. So what do I mean by that? So let me explain. So I'll just, uh, just do a quick example. So what is A plus trading setup? So A plus trading setup is always where all the stars are aligned. The market is in an uptrend, it retests support, Fibonacci 618 level, you know, just nice, you know, it forms a, you know, a, a harmonic gutly pattern, etc. And um, forms a bullish candlestick pattern and then you go long. Right, so that's an A plus setup where all the stars are aligned. And the thing is this, right? Let me just share with you an example. Let's say, right, you have an A plus trading setup and it wins 70% of the time, right? With a one to four risk reward ratio. Sounds good, right? And for this type of trade, you you know, let's keep it constant, you risk hundred dollars, hundred dollars per trade. And you get, since this is a very high probability trading setup, you get about 10 trades a year. So if you do the math. Okay, on average, how much would you make per year given the numbers that I just shared with you, right? So, so let's say you, out of 10 trades, you win 7 trades, right? 70% win, right? So each trade, you get a 1 to 4 risk to reward ratio. So that would be about uh, $2,800. That is your total win, right? Just take 100, multiply by 4, and then multiply by 7. You get about $2,800. And your losses, right? You have about, let's say you have 3 losses, right? it would be $300. And in total, you net a gain of about $2,500, right, for, for the year on average, given the, the numbers I just shared with you, right? This is for the A-plus trading setup. But on the other hand, let's say what right now, you don't go for an A-plus trading setup. You just go for, you know, a decent trading setup, right? Don't really have a very high win rate uh, a, and it has, a, you know, a decent risk to reward. Let's say how about a 50% win rate with a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. Okay, again, you risk $100 per trade. And this time around, right, because it's not a, a super high probability setup, right, you can get more of this type of trades a year. Let's say you get 100 per year, 100 trades a year. And the total, what you're going to get is that you'll find that your total winner, right, uh, you get about this $10,000. And your losses, right, will be about $5,000, right? The math is quite simple. i just walk you through. How do you get 10000 Right, so 50 trades, right, 50 winners, so 50 multiplied by uh, 2, right, because you get an average of 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio, right. So 50 multiplied by 2 is 100. 100 multiplied by the $100 per trade is $10,000. And your loss is quite straight, straightforward, right. 50 trades in a year that is a loss, and each loss is $100 per trade, so it's $5,000. So total of your net, you get 5000 bucks. So you can see that, right, 1, focus on A plus trading setup and one is let's just, just say it's, it's a B setup. But the B type of trading setup, the mediocre, I won't say mediocre, the, uh, the, the lower grade trading setup has made twice the amount of money as the A plus trading setup. In fact, if you look at percentage term, it made 100% more return compared to your A plus trading setup. 
right? Are you, are you getting the point I'm trying to get across? And the re biggest reason is because of your frequency of the trade on each year, right? This one only has 10 trades per year, whereas this has 100. So this is why I said stop focusing only on A plus trading setup because those setup won't come often. In fact, right, there are poorer trading setup that still has an edge in the markets and they offer you much more opportunities. And with more opportunities, right, you can make more money. All right, and this is the third reason why traders fail with price action trading because, you know, they're just waiting and waiting and waiting for the stars to align. And by the time they get tired of waiting, they, you know, do all those funny trades and, and lead to very poor inconsistency and poor trading results. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. So the first reason why traders fail is because they set their stop loss, right, at obvious level and it gets hunted. So the solution is to set your stop loss a distance away from market structure or you can let the market, right, trigger those stop loss and then reverse before you enter your trade. Number two, learn how to read price action. Don't be a one-trick pony, right? Stop waiting for, you know, price to come to the level, give you a, you know, bearish reversal and then you go short because you can also trade breakouts in the market, right? Certain breakouts are high probability if you know how to read the price action of the markets. And finally, right, if you want to make more money, stop focusing on A-plus trading setups because those setups, right, are far and few in between. In fact, right, you can find a uh, a 50% win rate with an average of a 1 to 2 or even 1 to 1.5 trading setup. But if you have enough frequency of those type of trading setups, you can even make more money than a trader that focuses entirely on A plus trading setup. Okay? So I hope this uh, explains to you and share with you why most traders fail with price action trading and how you can avoid it. And if you want to learn more, go down to my website, right? Tradingwithrainer.com over here. Oops tradingwithradar.com over here, right? And just scroll down. I have this guide called the Ultimate Guide to Price Action Trading. Over here, you click over here, right? Uh, it's a guide that will teach you how to better time your entries and exits and to read the price action of the market. So just click this blue button over here and I'll send this guide to your email for free, okay? So with that said, I have come to the end of this video. If you have any comments, feedback, just let me know below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. I would really appreciate it. So with that said, I wish you good luck and good trading and I'll talk to you soon.